Hello. Uh, just a short hello. Yes, I'm still alive. I'm still working on that project. Uh, many measurements have been conducted and uh, indeed it turned out again and again that uh, the machines are, are quite good, uh, better than uh, some, some people out there think. Um, I've got a quite good understanding of how much power I'm putting into the one side and how many losses I need to cover in total. So uh, assuming that all those losses split into equal parts on left and right side, uh, I was able to determine the efficiency of uh, left or right side to always something between 82 and 85%. Taking into account that those losses consist of, uh, of course, uh, efficiency of the machine itself, um, efficiency of the motor controllers, but also auxiliary losses in the cables, mechanical losses a little bit and so on. Uh, I think the efficiency of the machines is almost high as as 90 de degrees. Yes, good, 90 percent. So um, I, I um, thought about how could I help the most temperature critical part, the rotor, getting rid of its heat. And what I did was instead of um, attaching that massive forced ventilation, attaching some heat sinks. And in the first step, I just uh, attached them without that disc over here. And it turned out that um, it led to a radial fan. I also talked about in one of the, the previous videos about that r a little bit radial fan design of front and rear bearing shield. But over here, suddenly, I've got a massive airflow in radial direction at the rear bearing shield. And uh, attaching that disc over here helped it a little bit more, providing a nice airflow straight through mach the machine, through the air gap from left to right. And um, yeah, meanwhile, many measurements have been done, not going into detail right now. And it, yeah, it turned out that um, it, it's almost as good, that version over here with the radial fan design, almost as good as the force ventilation. Of course, that one depends over here a little bit more on the speed. So at higher speeds, it's almost as good as that one over here. At lower speeds, it's not quite as good, but uh, soon I will attach some more heat sinks, helping the rotor to get to get rid of, of its heat uh, exactly where it appears. So at that uh, stainless steel housing. And um, yeah. And furthermore, I need to um, uh, turn around the whole test bench because uh, in that corner over here, it's more 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 like the the warm air just moves in circles. So I need to to uh, get some more fresh uh, air into that corner, and then we will see in in how far the motors can. Uh, survive quite high power ratings like almost 10 kilowatts for a longer time without forced ventilation, without additional space consumption, without additional power supply and stuff like that. Just as big or as small as they are. All right, guys, so far, um, I don't know, uh, next video might uh, come up in, in a couple of days or maybe weeks. So far, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, by the way, Happy New Year, and see you soon. Goodbye.